The Associated Press managed to make a little bit of news this week itself with how it bungled the announcement of a change to its style book, which ended with the Associated Press having to apologize to, wait for it, France. Late th- Ernest is laughing. Late Thursday, it tweeted a recommendation telling journalists to avoid using the word the in situations where it might be dehumanizing. Some of the examples, the poor, the mentally ill, the disabled, the college educated, and the French. <laughs> now, <laughs> Ernest is laughing again. Of course, sometimes it isn't enough to just leave bad enough alone. They came back apologizing for inappropriately including the and the Associated Press deleted the first tweet and posted a new one leaving out any reference to our friends from France. Now don't ever say the French oops I just did it there don't say that people from France don't have a sense of humor the embassy posted a tweet uh, uh, the French embassy the embassy from France in Washington, <laughs> D.C., posted a tweet changing its name to the Embassy of Frenchness in the U.S. I guess there is such a thing as taking ourselves too seriously. Uh, good for the embassy for having a sense of humor. Uh, I mean, to give AP some credit, they were obviously trying to show that the stereotyping doesn't just need to be a negative stereotype. They're trying to show it's positive and oh, so a negative stereotype. so that was love for the French. They were trying to say, we're just going to be fair, well-educated in French. <laughs> It was trying to be their balance. They're both sidesing the question, <laughs> right? And it didn't work. No, uh, this is one of those things where the style book, you know, and, and, and those of us who are in journalism, you you know all about the AP style book. Uh-huh. Uh, and this is one of those instances where you kind of want to go to whoever's putting it together and say, what were you thinking? <laughs> so, so talk about that, though, for a second, Ernest, because we also talk about how we're using language, using uh, person first language. Mm-hmm. And some of those other examples are actually pretty good examples there. Does this become kind of one of your examples of like, let's not take this too far? Well, yeah, it does. It, 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 well, it can. I mean, does, I think does you're it, right. Does this replace uh, your Star Wars, uh, unlearn what you've unlearned? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it can. It can. But I, I mean, I think, I think Damon has a point. I think they were trying to show that there are instances where this can be good. But I I think the example they use is where they begin to have some problems. And and again, they need to really think about that before they put it out there.